day is going to be epic. I'm going to check out the castle Windsor, head off to Bath, and finally Stonehenge. There's a lot to see, so let's head out right now. This is Windsor Castle. And it actually is the largest and oldest inhabited castle in the world, and it's cool to think that people still live here. And what I just saw was the changing of the guard. They actually look like toy soldiers just marching around. It's something that you only see like on TV and the news and you come here and like, wow, these guys really do this. I've left Windsor behind and now I'm in the little town of Bath. It is so cozy and cute. People are just hanging out in the squares, taking in the sun, and in the center of town is a Roman bath and that's where I'm headed right now. I love coming to these kind of places because you kind of put yourself back in time how it was back in the day. These are actually the best preserved baths in the entire world and they are incredible. You can see the reflection of all the Roman statues. People are hanging around. You can see the cathedral and the backdrop. This is definitely a must see here. And you can actually try some of the water that comes from the spring. Ah, it tastes like water but you can definitely feel a little bit about the minerals. Actually, wait, there's some magic going on. I think it's taking away all my, my wrinkles and my aches and pains. Now I know why the Romans drank this stuff. Cheers. And now for my third and final stop of the day, a place I've been waiting to see all my life, Stonehenge. It's pretty much what I thought it would be. It's beautiful, it's creative, it's a mystery, it's everything, it's an enigma, and it's been here for 5,000 years, and I'm sure it's gonna be here for 5,000 more years. And you know what? I hope they never figure out what it's all about. I like that it's a mystery. Today has been a fantastic day. First started off with a castle, Windsor, then to a medieval town, and Bath, 